Okay, we're going to uh, use the most basic uh, control settings for uploading attachments. Let's uh, first thing we want to do is go to your settings. That's in the upper right hand corner. Click settings, and then we're going to scroll down to general settings right there under my account. You'll see general settings. We'll click on that. Now we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Let's take that all the way down and uh, we're going to use a simple, we're going to change this setting to basic editor right there. Basic editor or simple text box and then we're going to use enhanced attachment uploading off and what we're doing is we're kind of dumbing it down a little bit here and making it a little easier and, and um, less dependent on different drivers that go in. We'll click Save Changes. Now we'll go back to the form and we'll go to the Support form and we'll go into this thread we've been working in here these are different attachments that we've done. Let's uh, go advanced for a reply and click manage attachments. You can see up here that we have just a simple editing box. A lot of the controls that you might have seen in other settings are gone. And uh, we'll click manage attachments. Now we get a very basic uploader screen and uh, close window right there. Now you can upload from a website. If you have a uh, picture hosted on PhotoTime or one of the other Shutterbug or one of the others that, that don't block downloads, you could put that web address right in there. It will go grab a copy of that and then move it over to the KnifeDog server. Now here are some file limits and types that are in place on knife dogs you'll see a JPEG which is the most common has a 97k limit and does not have size limits there's two limits on pictures the, the size in pixels and then the file size and uh, for the .jpg which is by far the most common we don't have any size limitations but there is a limitation there so let's scroll up. We'll find a. Okay, we found some pictures. The uh, disk was really slow. I did manage to find a nice picture right there. And we've clicked that. And uh, that dialog with this dialog box will look different uh, depending upon the version of uh, Windows or Mac that you're using. I happen to be using Windows 7, so this box is going to look a little different than yours process will be the same. So now we have the address right there and uh, we'll just click upload and we'll see that file upload. It's waiting and it's done. Just went that quick. You can see that the image is right there. It's 91k and at this point it's done. So if we preview the post. It's going to say we don't have a message in there. You have to have at least three characters in your message. So another fish story. Let's preview the post. You can see the attachments right there. And submit reply. Now we have that attached. We use the very basic uploader and let's see this picture that's yours truly holding a nice 60 pound grouper we caught off the Florida Keys a couple years back and that's how you use a basic file attachment dialog now we'll uh, make another video on how to use the uh, enhanced version